When you think of Spain, what comes to mind? Maybe bullfighting, flamenco, Don Quixote? Well, you're really only scratching the surface of what modern Spain is all about. If you're flying into Madrid, you'll start off at the airport, Madrid Barajas. Now you can catch a taxi to the center for about 30 euros, but a much cheaper option is the subway, Metro de Madrid. Most of the metro costs one euro, but from the airport there's a supplemental fee, which fluctuates, but right now it costs about an extra euro. The Madrid Metro is one of the safest, cleanest, and most modern subway systems in the world. It's also one of the easiest to use. Maps are posted at all the stations and in every car, and you can also get a free pocket-sized map from any ticket counter. It's an ideal way to get around town. So what's this place all about? Well, in short, la vida, or life. Madrid is a vibrant city. The food, the art, the fashion, and especially the nightlife are all buzzing with energy. So let's check it out. Okay, let's talk food. In Spain, it's all about the jamón, or Spanish ham. Ham is a culture in itself here. Different styles from different regions, different qualities, and of course the correct, specific way to cut the cured meat. My advice is to skip the rest and ask for the best of Spanish ham. Jamón Ibérico de Bellota. Another great Spanish contribution to world cuisine Tapas. Traditional tapas bars offer the classic specialties. For example, over here we have callos, or tripe, which is um, cow stomach. Over here we have tortilla española, or Spanish tortilla, which has nothing to do with Mexican tortilla. It's more like an omelet. And here we have croquetas, croquettes, which are usually filled with um, cheese or meat or some kind of other surprise. And at the end, my favorite, rabo de toro, which is, like it sounds, bull's tail. You can't come to Madrid without checking out the Golden Triangle of Art. Three world-class museums within just a few hundred yards of each other. The Prado is one of the most extensive collections of European classical works in the world. While the Thyssen Borda Misa is one of the most eclectic and robust privately acquired art collections anywhere on the planet. And completing the triangle, the Reina Sofia Museum, Madrid's shrine to Spain's art geniuses of the 20th century like Picasso, Miro, and Dali. If you're into exclusive, check out Madrid's Salamanca district. It may cost you an arm and leg, just make sure you have enough money to get the taxi back to the hotel. Taxi! If you're more into street fashion and club wear, check out Fuencarral Street. Sandwiched between the gay, mixed neighborhood of Chueca and the rock alternative area of Malasaña, it's a hipster's paradise. But what is Madrid most famous for? It's nightlife! Or as they say here, La Marcha Madrileña. The bars in the nighttime hotspots of Malasaña, Chueca, and Huertas are open until 3 a.m. You'll have no problem partying till dawn here, as most of the clubs stay open till 6 a.m. or later. And let's not forget, you're in Spain, so you might want to check out some flamenco. There are many flamenco bars, or tablaos, around the city center, and some of the country's best performers are right here in the capital. If there's anything else Madrid is famous for, it's knowing how to relax. After a long week of working hard and playing hard, there's nothing better than enjoying a lazy afternoon with a cold drink. Well, I hope to see you in Madrid soon. Cheers, or as they say in Spain, salud.